Good day, lords and ladies. Thanks for stopping by. Before we begin, I will be streaming Medieval Dynasty and other games Wednesday and Friday on YouTube and Sunday and Monday on Twitch. All times are 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so if you're interested, come by and hang out with me. And with that being said, let us begin. Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to our Medieval Dynasty Let's Play Season 1, Episode 29. And so today we're going to be building the excavation hut. Now I brought our brought us back home from Denica between the last episodes just because I wanted to start the episode at home and then work our way out to where we're going to put up the excavation hut. So I do need a shovel before we leave, so I need to go visit uh, our resource storage and then the smithy so I can get a shovel. Well, maybe not. Well, I might have one. Let's check our inventory. And I don't have one on me. Let's check our chest inside of our house. And let's see. I don't have one there. So we're going to need to craft one, I think, at the resource. Well, at the smithy, we're going to need to craft it. But we need to go get a couple logs out of here. There we go. And then we could take them over here. Oh, hey, it says I already have four logs. So if you notice, in the... Well, not that one. Wooden tools. I don't have it unlocked. Apparently I can't craft a wooden shovel yet. And we only have four silver. Four coins, so we can't do that yet. That's okay. We don't necessarily need a shovel. What we need is an axe. And then that axe is going to chop down the logs that we need for... Well, it's going to chop down the trees we need for the logs. So as you can see, our villagers are doing great on these fields here. Uh, they've already got this one all fertilized almost completely So they just need to do a little bit more work getting everything planted and it looks like why do I only have one field worker right now? One two three so we're gonna fix this We're gonna quick save and quick load and see if our villagers actually get to work Because right now we have one field worker who's out there doing all the work and we actually have three of them So they need to be working those fields before springtime ends but that's not the point of this episode. We are going to go to the mine that I choose, and I'll show you on the map once we get there, but we have to get there. So I'll meet you at the spot. Now, you're not going to know where the spot is until I get there, so I will just meet you there. Okay, so we're coming up on the spot now. I'm not sure if you recognize this area, but I had to pull out the crossbow and get a bolt loaded because this area is known for being a bear spawn. So we just want to make sure that we're taking the steps to protect ourselves. Okay, so we aren't quite there yet, but we're coming up on it. It's right over this turn here, and there's a bear there. Let's go up on this rock formation here and see if we can't see any more before they see us. So there's one bear. And that right there is the mine. That's where we're going to be setting our excavation hut. So we need to clear the area of bears so they don't attack us while we're building. And then after that, we can actually do the building. And that will stop the bear spawn. So once we get something built there, they'll stop spawning there. But for now, we need to get a shot off on this bear. Oh, I hit it. I hope I hit it in the head. <laughs> My game kind of glitched out there and didn't show me where I actually hit him at. So now, oh, I missed that one. Completely missed that one. Why is he so slow, though? Oh, I hit him in the head that time. Alright, so that would be why he's slow now. I don't know why he was slow before. Now he's stuck on the rock, so this should be an easy kill. Or not. I'll miss twice. <laughs> Normally pretty good with a crossbow and whatnot as far as the shooting things go like that, but he moved right at the last second. Alright, so we're going to take that. Now, I have heard iron bolts are better. But wooden bolts for me right now are easier for us to get, so that's what I'm using. Once we start producing iron and getting iron, then at that point in time, we can start using iron bolts, but we also need to pay for it. So we paid our taxes, we're really just waiting for summertime to come in, when our flax crops will be done, and then we could sell the seed from that. But we also need to get some rock production, which is through the excavation hut, so we don't have to spend so much time finding finding rocks, so that way we can build our houses. 
And that was really weird. I wanted to go, like, scratch an itch on my nose. And I ended up, like, squeezing my nose together. You know, when you want to get that squeaky, raspy voice or whatnot. You pinch your nose and then you talk. Well, I did that without thinking about it. <laughs> Just now. So we need to get another axe. We need another axe because we weren't able to chop any of that up. And we're probably going to need some stones. Or not stones, but sticks. Because I don't think I have any on me right now. And we haven't chopped any of those up. So there's a stick. And then I need another stone yet. Let's grab these branches. St. John's wart. Don't need that yet. Might later. Not right now. Let's see. Torch? Torch. Burning the tree down? Should be. There's a stone. Alright, let's see if we have enough. We do. So we're going to craft this stone axe. And I am going to go ahead and put my night vision filter on this. Uh, probably right about now, so that way everybody can see, including myself, on the replay. And I'll tell you what, I'll just, uh... I don't know. I'll try and edit it out. Maybe. Not sure if it's gonna work that well. Alright. Alright. Now, how many logs do we need for this? I have not checked. We need 8 and we have 10. Okay. So we need to go back up here. We're overweight, so we need to go back up here, set some of these logs down. And then from there, well, pull out our crossbow too. Just in case it decided, the bear decided to respawn, and there's its uh, carcass. The one we just took out to actually start building on this site all right so resources there we go we're just gonna stick this outside of the mine like right there that'll be close enough now with this excavation hut our villagers will not get iron they just will not do it so with that being said the excavation hut is only for stone limestone salt and clay so if you put up an excavation hut thinking that it's going to be good to mine then i'm sorry you're going to be you're going to be hurting for a while there because it's not going to get iron for you so you really need to work up get the mine build one at either this place or another one there's several caves around that you could build a mine in and then from there, it would be wise to put the mine in there and get that'll be a way to get iron. But not with the excavation hut. Now, I know a lot of people have said excavation hut for iron, but it just doesn't work, you know? So, let's see. We need, I think we need a whole bunch of logs for this. I think we are going to end up needing a whole bunch of logs... And I think we're also going to end up needing straw. Now, I'm not sure if we brought any. We might have. Might have. I think we're going to need straw. It looks like we're going to need straw. I could be wrong, though. You see with the way it kind of frays at the bottom? That looks more like a straw roof to me. Let's find out. Uh, first, we're going to want to set the logs in place. Yeah, it's straw. We might have enough, actually. 8 times 4 is, what, uh, 8, 16, so 32. We should have enough straw. Now, we don't have enough logs. These sides are going to take a lot. But that's okay, because once we get some of this stuff done, then at which point <clears throat> we can continue. Okay. So with the filter, I'm going to have to probably edit out that building part. Not edit out, but take the filter off for that just because the sides, the way they glow, I don't think it's going to go well with the filter with my night vision setup that I got. But we'll try it. 
I'll put it on there, and if it doesn't work out in editing, then I'll take it off. Alright, we need a few more. We actually need, like, a lot more. We need a whole bunch of them. Because it's, like, four per side, and we still have two or three sides to do. So we're just going to chop all these trees down right here. And then take them up there and see where we're at. Now, we did have the straw on us. So as soon as we get all of these logs over there, we're going to be done. And that'll pretty much be the episode there. We did a bunch of grinding, got some mining done. Or not mining, we got the ability to start getting stone. We will have accomplished at the end of this episode today. So with that being said, uh, let's chop these up and see where we are at. I don't want to end up having to take that long walk back home, dragging my feet because I have so much weight on me. Uh, so I'm really just trying to get as many logs as we need and then moving on. And it looks like the moonlight is giving us a little bit of a light here to work with, which is great. But with my filter, it doesn't necessarily matter as much because with that, you can almost see in the dark. Almost. It, it was just something new that I tried during that Why Sense Surprise episode, and it seemed to work extremely well. People have stated that without it, they probably wouldn't have been able to see anything while I was getting attacked, and that's true. Because I have seen some playback of really dark scenes, so. Uh, three, six, seven, eight. So we need eight, and we have nine, so we are perfect right now. And done. So now our excavation hut is complete. I'm going to head back home, and that is where we'll end this episode 29. So let's uh, meet up back at the house. All right, and we're back. So I did sleep the night off, just so that way we could brighten it up and make it easier to see for everybody. Uh, now we do need to also set some villagers up, but this is where we are going to end the episode 29. So let's set them up real quick. And let's see, Scarb Mira, we only have three field workers, so she would make a good field worker. She really would. She would also make a good hunter, I think. And then field worker, there we go. And uh, Odolin is extraction, so we're going to put Odolin in the excavation hut, the one that we just built. There we go. And then Ingvar. Ingvar is a craftsperson. Uh, he's a craftsman. So we are going to put him in the sewing. That is going to be the first building out of the two that we're going to need. And that is because we have flax going in the ground now for the springtime. So we're going to need him uh, making the flax stalk into linen thread for us as soon as possible. So we're going to set him at the sewing shop there. The sewing hut. Uh, not quite sure what it's called. Sewing one. There we go. So, with that being said, we are going to end episode 29 here. Thank you for joining me on this Medieval Dynasty Let's Play Season 1, episode 29. I appreciate you for joining me, and have a great one. Let's keep it medieval, people.